Today's video is entitled, Faces, Edges, and Vertices. To begin, let's take a look at some popular geometric shapes and the terms that go along with them. Our first one is a rectangular pyramid. Rectangular pyramid has that rectangular shaped base. Next, we have a cylinder. That one's pretty easy, the red cylinder over here. We have the blue sphere. We have a rectangular prism in the center here. We have a cone in the top left hand corner. Sorry about that, I apologize. And we have a cube in the top center. Next, let's take a look at some terms you'll need to know. Words you'll need to know. The first one is edge. An edge is the place where two faces meet. So this figure here, you can see, has several different edges. Face. A face is a flat surface of a solid figure, or a polyhedron. And finally, vertex is a point where two or more edges meet. And if it's more than one vertex, we refer to them as vertices. Moving right along, let's take a look at our first shape. Our first shape here is a cube. Now let's figure out how many faces, edges, and vertices a cube has. Well, for faces, we have the front, the back, the left, the right, the top, the bottom. And when you count all those up, you end up with six faces. And then you can do the same thing for the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve edges altogether. Again, I apologize about that. 12 edges, and finally the vertices or the points. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 vertices. Now it's your turn. Pause the video, identify the shape, faces, edges, and vertices, and come back when you're ready. This shape is no surprise, it's a cylinder. It has two faces, excuse me, three faces, a top, a bottom, and a curved face. It has two edges, one at the top here and one at the bottom. And vertices, zero. There are no points in which the edges meet. Our next shape, pause the video, come back and see how you did. This shape is a rectangular prism. It has six faces. 12 edges, and 8 vertices. You're going to see this pattern repeat itself over and over. Next, we have this shape. Pause the video, come back when you're ready. So identifying this shape was pretty easy. It's a sphere, but when you come to the faces, it gets a little bit trickier. It has 0 faces, 0 edges, and 0 vertices. Although, from time to time, you'll hear people argue that it, in fact, has one big curved face. But for our purposes, we'll count it as having zero faces. Next, pause the video, come back when you're ready. Alright, so here we go again. We have a rectangular prism. And as I said before, these numbers tend to repeat on several geometric shapes. We have 6, 12, and 8 for the rectangular prism. Moving right along, pause the video, come back to see how you did. The name of this shape is a rectangular pyramid. And again, as I stated in the beginning of the video, it's a rectangular pyramid because the base is made up of a, either a square or a rectangle. It has five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. Next, we have a very popular shape. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. This shape makes us think about ice cream. It's a cone. It has two faces, one curved face, one edge where the curved face meets the flat face, and vertices, uh, a little bit trickier. We have one or zero. So the reason for one or zero is that some people don't want to call this a vertice or a vertex because it's only comprised of one edge or one face 
but I like to call it uh, at least one vertex because it does make that nice point there. So one or zero, again, it's going to really depend on what information you're looking at. Have a new shape here. Pause the video. Come back when you're ready. All right, this one's a little bit different. It's a triangular prism. Excuse me, a triangular pyramid. And it's a triangular pyramid because the base is in the shape of a triangle. And it has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. Pause the video. Come back when you're ready. This guy here, it's a triangular prism. And again, this figure has five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. Moving right along, on to a bonus. Well, I don't know about you, but I definitely noticed the relationship between the edges, faces, and sides of many of these different figures. In this lesson, I've decided to include a bonus. Your bonus is to identify the relationship between the faces, edges, and vertices in a regular polyhedron, or a geometric figure without curves. Then write a rule or a formula that can be used for determining the faces, edges, and vertices of a geometric figure. And if you need help, you can use the hint below. Hint, if you need help, the formula is named after Leonhard Euler. Good luck!